Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome to season 10 of Music Forward's Open Mic Fridays. I am your hostess with the mostest. My name is Lydia Caesar, and I am super excited to be here on this fabulous, fabulous Friday night, bringing you the freshest new talent from around the globe. Thank you so much for joining us right here on this amazing platform, Twitch. Make sure that you do not forget to subscribe to us right here so that you don't miss out on all of the amazing things that we have going on right here at Music Forward. So before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about what you're here for. What is this, right? What is Music Forward? What is Open Mic Fridays? I'm pretty sure you just tuned in because one of these phenomenal artists told you, hey, I'm performing virtually. All you got to do is click the link and you showed up, right? But you're like, what is this? Well, first, let me let you know a little bit about Music Forward. It is an organization that connects young people from our communities directly to the music industry via career and artist development programming that is designed specifically to transform young lives, inspire careers, and to champion a more inclusive music industry. The music industry can be a really tough nut to crack. I am also a singer as well as a host myself, and I know firsthand just how hard it can be to just get a foot in the door, right? So this is the artist. This is the music industry. Music Forward is literally bridging that gap. Super dope. What is Open Mic Fridays? This is not your typical open mic. No, you cannot raise your hand and perform. This is not that kind of open mic, okay? This is a performance showcase where young, new, fresh artists, they share their talent, they gain exposure, and what makes this super special is they get live feedback directly from industry experts with successful careers in music. I know you hate when you're like trying to accomplish something and people who've never done it tell you what to do and what not to do and how to do it. It's like... Do you even know what you're talking about? This is not that. We have people who have been there, done that. They have succeeded in this business. And they're the ones who are going to be feeding and pouring into our amazing talent tonight. All right. So let's get back to this show and the lineup. Tonight is a special show. I'm, I am in sequence from head to toe. I'm going to show you my dress a little bit later because it's a special event tonight. This is our season 10 industry pick. So the entire season, we have had our esteemed guests who have successful careers in music. They have selected these artists throughout our season 10. So these are literally the best of the best going head to head. No, let me stop. <laughs> it's a friendly space where they are competing for some really special things. And they're also just going to bless us with their phenomenal talent. So after tonight's show, we're going to be crowning the season 10 overall industry pick as chosen by our industry experts, okay? The season 10 overall industry pick is going to receive some really cool gear, courtesy of Sennheiser, one of the leading audio companies in the industry. Plus, this season, we have partnered with Ross, who has all the name brands for less, to provide our overall industry pick with $150, in Ross Bucks, a $150 Ross gift card. That's going to go a long way. As artists, we express ourselves through music, you know, but how we dress, how we dress on stage, how we dress on the day-to-day -day can be just as important in expressing yourself, building your artistry and showing people who you are, right? Letting them know about your fashion style. Check it out tonight. This dress is from Ross. I need you to see that there's some tassels here. We have some tassel action happening. Okay, it's sequenced from head to tassel toe and it's from ross okay period when i saw this i was like it's a yes for me put it in the bag i wish they had a few more i would have just bought a few just in case this one gets a little raggedy i can just replace it with the other one because that's how affordable it was and fabulous at the same time so you better believe these artists whoever wins tonight is going to get their life shopping at ross that gift card is going to go a long way especially because they have 20 to 60 percent of department and specialty store prices all day every day so that is a little bit about our prize package before we get started with the performances from our amazing young talent 
Here's our industry guests. Industry guests, you may now turn on your cameras. With Norve Denton, the head of urban SVP of A&R at AWAL. Let me tell you a little bit about Norve. Hailing from the south side of Chicago, Norve Denton is the former senior vice president of A&R at Warner Records and the current head of urban senior vice president of A&R at AWOL. As a writer and producer, she has spearheaded the careers of countless artists, including signing and developing Wale, 2K Baby, YFN Lucci, and more. During an eight-year stint at Motown Island Def Jam, he also worked with a wide range of artists, including Big Sean, 2 Chains, Logic, and Rick Ross. Norve, welcome back! Got to unmute yourself. <laughs> Norbe, there you go. It wouldn't unmute, it wouldn't unmute for me. Well, thank uh, you. Thank you for me. <laughs> it's all good. Welcome. We're so excited to have you back. Excited to be here. Looking forward to hearing some amazing music. Oh, you are in for a treat. So many phenomenal artists tonight. So tell us, quick question. What is that thing like? the spark, the it factor? What is one of the main things that you look for as an A&R scouting talent? You know, something that when the artist has it, you just know. What are you looking for? I think just a sense of uh, self-identity. Somebody mm -hmm. that's unapologetically themselves, mm -hmm. not trying to conform to current trends. Mm -hmm. When you're just, you know, uh, unapologetically you. And I think whatever that looks like is going to be bespoke. It's Love different that. for everybody. Love that. That's so, I live by a, by a, a phrase, you are your superpower. That's like, like I say it to myself every day. And I think that that's pretty much what you're talking about. Like when an artist just knows that they are what makes them special, like it's nothing else, but who they are inside. So Absolutely. I love that. And if you're an artist and you're tuned in and you're watching, that's a life lesson. Learn to love you and everyone else will see and feel that energy. We're so excited to tap in with you all throughout the night, Norway. Thank you again for being here. Let's talk a little bit about our next industry expert, Valerie Hanna, the booking coordinator for Live Nation Entertainment. In September of 2019, Valerie began working at House of Staff and moved into the booking world in April of 2022. Valerie is the booking coordinator for House of Blues Houston, House of Blues Dallas, and Echo Lounge in Dallas. She's busy, you guys. About a month ago, she became the booker for Cambridge Room 400 capacity at the House of Blues in Dallas. Valerie. Of course, I'm excited. We are so pumped to have you. We, tonight's show, I'm just telling you, is going to be so great. I've been hosting all season. I've watched these artists. They're phenomenal. And they may be, you may have to book them. I think I honestly, I think I just might, I, I might think, just have to book them all. I think I see some yeah. booking coming up, maybe like a, a, a music forward open mic Fridays, headlining showcase. I'll come out and host. They'll perform. It'll be a vibe. <laughs> that sounds amazing to me. Let's do it. Yes. Everyone so, just come to Dallas. <laughs> everybody's going to Dallas. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So tell us, uh, I, well, my question for you is similar. When you're booking an artist, what are some things that you look for? Like, what do artists need to have in place? You can even tell us like maybe some, some mistakes that you've seen, like when someone's trying to pitch themselves to be booked mm -hmm. that they're doing wrong. Like, just give like a quick, just a couple tips on how to up the chances of getting booked. I just think I agree with both of you, like you and Norve, like there's a sense of individuality that needs to come forth, right? Like, sure, you want like the next Taylor Swift, but you want like the you version of, of like within that, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Like yes. you want, yeah, you want something special, but what, what does make you special is you and putting you into what you're doing. And that's, what's going to stand out, not just to us as bookers, but like when I'm booking, I also am thinking of the fans. Yes. Like I have to think of the fans in the city. And so I want the fans to also know that they're getting their own unique experience coming to a show and yeah. they're going to want to come and pay and be present and attentive. And, you know, that at the end of the day is an individual person, you know, the artists that have stood out most on our stages are those who 
you know, came as they were and didn't pretend to be something they weren't. Yeah. I love that. And because so, yeah. the audience can always tell a fake. Mm-hmm. That's the thing about being like in the audience, you know, you can feel it. You all, you almost feel embarrassed while you're in the audience. Like this yeah. is an awkward performance, you know? So yeah. absolutely. I can see and agree with that. Totally. All right. So we have a great lineup throughout the night. You guys are going to have your time to speak to these artists and, you know, just share with them any tips that you have. Don't be afraid to give some constructive criticism as well. At the end of the day, we want them all to leave this showcase better than how they came into it. So that's why we have two heavy hitters with us on the panel tonight. So thank you guys for being here. Both of you may turn off your cameras and we'll see you back. All right, you guys. So you heard from them first, our industry experts. We're excited to hear from them throughout the night. Last but not least, before we call our first artist, I want to remind you that the chat right here on Twitch is open tonight. And as a performer, as an artist, as a creative, a kind word can go a very long way. So please drop some encouraging words to them in the chat. And let's celebrate phenomenal artistry tonight. All right. Come into the virtual well, stage. We have our first performer, Olivia Rose. Come on. Hi, Lydia. Hi. How's it going? It is going. My night just got a lot better because your beautiful face popped up. <laughs> and I know so you about nice to see you. I know you about to bless us. I already know. <laughs> so tell the audience for new people who are here a little bit about you brag on yourself big up yourself tell us who you are and what we can expect to hear from you tonight for sure um so i'm the only canadian here tonight i'm not sure about the rest of the season but i'm very honored to be representing canada tonight okay. um i hail from a very tiny town of 1500 people in northern alberta um i've been singing songwriting performing since the young age of eight years old i am 24 now and I do this full time. Um, I put out my very first radio single at 14 years old, and I've been doing basically one a year ever since. Um, I have some uh, Alberta Country Music Award nominations under my belt and some Edmonton Country uh, Edmonton Music Award um, wins under my belt. Edmonton oh. is the capital city of Alberta, for those who don't know. Um, and I've just been pushing for this for my basically my entire life. Um, I have super wonderful, supportive parents and friends and and uh, colleagues in this industry that just make it so incredible. Uh, if you can't tell, I sing country music and growing up in a small town, country music and the words of country really resonated with me, which is why I stuck with this genre. I really appreciate the storytelling that comes with country. And it's just been something that's had a very, very special place in my heart for as long as I can remember. I love that. I love it. At this point, the only thing you can do wrong is stop. Exactly. Hey, I didn't come this far to only come this far. That part, that part. <laughs> so many amazing things for you in the future. And um, I'm excited for the audience to get to hear you tonight. So I'm not going to take up any more of this space. At this point, Olivia Rose, take it away. This is uh, a song I wrote called Interrupted. So 
out to my love song In just one night the roof caved You took everything but the blame How could you just walk away without skipping a beat? You had me believing we were endgame Was that just a game you played? Had me thinking about your last name and that down on one knee. Well, I was happy singing forever, amen. Then a record scratched just like that. Speakers blew out, all went black. All you left was radio static, music stopped. I can't rewind this time, melody died. How did I get it? So wrong, how are you the one that interrupted my love song? Yeah, you met my mama, you were such a charmer. I told her that you were the one. Then the record scratched just like that. Speakers blew out, all in black. All you left was real static. Music stopped. I can't rewind this time. Melody died. How did I get it so wrong? How are you the one that interrupted? Interrupted the record scratch just like that. Speakers blew out, all in black. All you left was. Radio static, music stops. I can't rewind this time. Melody died. How did I get it so wrong? How are you the one that interrupts my love song? Interrupts my love song. Olivia Rose, <laughs> girl, I remember that, um, you know, you performed that last time. And that's something that I really love that you did, that you went ahead and did the same song. I think that's great. It's like kind of like brand recognition and it's beating people in the head with the song, right? That's what they do <laughs> with us on the radio, really. Like mm -hmm. a lot of the songs that we listen to and sing along. So we don't even realize we're singing along by the time we're singing along because they done played it so many times. So yeah. hearing it from you, more than once, I, I felt a sense of familiarity with the song. And it's also a great song, well Thank written. Thank you. Yes, it's, I love just, you know, all of your analogies and metaphors and just the way that you, you wrote that song. It's, it's great. Well, well written, great pen game. Let us get our industry experts in here. Awesome. Thanks. Here, of course. <laughs> all right, let's go with the ladies first. Valerie, give some... Uh, feedback to Olivia Rose. Okay. Um, I also resonated with that. Like your lyricism is so good. Thank you. Um, I I kept thinking, I hear a lot from this one person in my life who always talks about how like, we're like the Taylor Swift generation where um, we don't realize how much we've taken the narratives that she's written, especially those of us like who grew up with her and kind of like applied it to our lives just because that's the impact that she has. Totally. And you reminded me a lot of that, like just for like she started doing that, working her lyricism into like every day, like really, really telling her stories. And, you know, before you knew it, the people around you were like really taking it in and being like, whoa. And I kind of felt that same energy from you where I was like, she's got a staple. And look, I was born and raised in Texas. Country music is something that I've been surrounded with my entire life. And there is something so like particular there um, where I'm like, if you keep honing in on that and keep telling that truth to your story, like, yeah, you'd sell tickets here. You know, you're in Canada and I'm all the way in Texas and like, there's no way you want it. Um, I think Norway is a little bit more in tune on the, um, on the other side of things, but when it comes to like your presence and your comfort, like it's all there. And 
so much that the rest of us kind of like eased into it. And I think that is something that's so special and telling. Wow. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. That was incredible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's obvious that Taylor Swift is one of my biggest writing influences. Um, the funny thing is that The Bachelor is what actually inspired this song. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Love it. All right, Norve, your turn. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. I loved the top line melody. There was something uh, so simplistic and effective in it. I think a lot of times it's uh, writers, we oftentimes overthink uh, what a hook is how, and how catchy it should be. But I think it, you know, should just always come from the heart. And um, at no point in time did I ever feel like uh, it was overly antiquated or had any ambitions of being um, catchy. It was just pure. So I love the top line melody and I love the simplicity of the hook. It made it really easy for somebody to follow along with. Uh, great job. Thank yeah. you so much. Yes. Good storytelling will always win. Okay, well, Olivia, you have came, you saw, you sang, you conquered. Feedback, thank you so much. And uh, we will see if you are the, the overall industry pick. But either way, a win is a win. And yes. Thank you so much for having me a part of this show. It's been wonderful. Yes, of course. Thank you. You're welcome. You may now turn off your camera. All right, so uh, Olivia Rose set the stage ablaze. She set the scene for what's gonna what's to come. So we are going to move the show right along. Coming to the virtual stage, we have Armstrong Worldwide. Welcome back. Hey, what's up? How you doing, lady? I'm good. How are you? Doing fantastic myself. Thank good. You Congratulations on being an industry pick. That's awesome. All right. Thank you. You're so welcome. So it is your moment, your time to shine. Tell them about yourself. Big up yourself. Tell them all the things you want yeah. them to know. And then tell us a little bit about what we're going to hear from you tonight. All right. I got you. So my name is Armstrong WW. The WW stands for Worldwide. I'm a musician from Cameroon, Africa, based in Houston, Texas. I actually moved to Houston when I was like seven years old. So a while ago, basically, you stoned me. <laughs> yeah, I started, I, started, I started writing music back home in Cameroon when I was around six, you know, just seeing music on the TV because I didn't really have access to a lot of like, you know, the radio or like hip hop, whatever it may be. So I'll just see like the instrumentals at the end of a movie and I'll just start writing then. And slowly, somehow that progressed into me rapping and singing like, now on but yeah my work's been featured on bbc radio one you know i've been on elevator music just grinding just putting my music out there i've headlined shows in chicago petaluma california but mainly my focus has just been trying to trying to teach the artists i know in houston about the marketing side about music and how to get their stuff up there and you know basically how we can all just come up you know turn this hobby or just love of music into a career someday so that's where i'm right now just figuring out how i'm gonna do that you know with myself and with the people around me I love it. I love that you're paying it forward too and bringing people along for the ride with you. That's really important. It shows a lot about not just your talent, but your character too. So that's that's really great to hear. So what song are you going to perform? So the song I'm performing today is called Mama Say. It's just a song that talks about how mom's advice has helped me throughout life in different situations. Everybody can relate to that. Love it. Excited oh, to hear. Yeah. All right, you guys, without further ado, Armstrong Worldwide. Take it. Say don't ever let the fan get to your head Cause most these broken demons find their comfort in your bed Don't say you need me if you really don't care I ought to know if you was really right here Oh mama say I'm different, special, holy vessel Drawn by stencil so I don't recognize myself Too many bottles and bottomless pits of burning hell Oh, oh, oh baby hold me till the sun comes down Then turn the lights back on Yeah, my mom's still your son you try to find me, need a little haystack, wait till my skin don't run. You're searching for me, don't waste your breath, well I can't speak with you. 
And you don't know my pain You ain't seen my blue Dancing the lights back on Dancing the lights back on My mom's still your son And you try to find me Needle and haystack Wait till my skin don't run I've been searching for me Don't waste your breath I can't speak with you You don't know my pain You ain't seen my blue Dancing the lights back on Mama say don't never let no loss inside your worth Don't forget beginning, middle, thesis in your verse You was born a soldier, not a killer There's a difference, quite a distance from a murder case Hold my anger, promise, never let me catch a case But I don't know, smile up on my bloody face Love's a no-show, I can barely get a break I just barely got a taste Making music feel like cycles of reciting pain Sometimes I just wanna drop it, don't got anything But they tell me switch the topic, I ain't finished praying Imagine hearing all these voices in your brain Yeah, I don't know no more I can't sleep my eyes so sore I ain't never asked for more I ain't never felt so sure I ain't never felt so I ain't never felt so Again, my name is Armstrong WW This song's called Mama Say For my first EP I released earlier this year Thank y'all Thank y'all for sharing this moment with me It's one of my favorite songs to perform Just because of how honest it is And it's not often we get to be honest as musicians, you know what we write but do you remember the chorus let's rock this out one last time i said dancing the lights back on oh my mom's still your son you try to find me need a little haystack wait till my skin don't run on i've been searching for me don't waste your breath i can't speak with you don't know my pain you ain't seen my blue dancing the lights back on No, thank you for a phenomenal performance. Great job. I love how lyrical you are. Like, it's always like bars, real rap. I love how you got us involved too. Like, participation on a Zoom performance. That's what I'm talking about. I love that energy. Super, super exciting. We have our fabulous industry guests in the room already. Nor Bay, let us start with you first. Give Armstrong Worldwide some feedback. Uh, first and foremost, I think it goes without saying the energy was infectious. Uh, I love the delivery and uh, more importantly, just the passion. Like uh, I can tell that you are still astutely uh, developing and nurturing your craft or whatnot. And I love seeing that just innate passion. And it shows in the delivery and execution to the point where you make uh, the, the the viewers want to be infectiously listening and learning the record the first time around. So never lose that energy, never lose that passion because it draws people in. Yeah, very authentic. I appreciate that, Nori. Yeah, absolutely. Valerie? I mean, I definitely agree on a lot of that. I love the energy. I could tell how much you believed everything you were saying, right? And I agree with nurturing it and you, you've made it very yours and it's really amazing to see like, like in a sense, see that it's coming directly from your heart. And as you're singing and as you're, as you're going, like it is physically taking over you and it is just like, you could feel it through a screen. And that to me, it was like absolutely phenomenal, like real and honest and just truly authentic. Mm-hmm. I've never heard like passion be described so like vividly. So like y'all are really making me like cheese right now. So if y'all see me smiling, just ignore that. But thank you. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> no, that's it's so true. Like you're an artist, and that's the thing. Like sometimes people will perform and it'll be like, Oh yeah, that was a cool performance, but you can tell that you're an artist. You know, it's this is an art form for you. Um, and so just you know, just keep keep doing what you're doing. You're definitely on the right path for sure. Will do, thank you. All right, Armstrong Worldwide, you may now turn off your camera. All right, you guys, I would hate to be the industry experts tonight because they have such a tough job ahead of them choosing one of these artists. It's only getting better. We have a couple more acts for you, so stick around. Coming to the virtual stage, wherever you are, start clapping and making some noise, cheering for Gabby Montiel. Hello. 
We are so excited to have you back, Gabby. How are you? I've seen you on social media doing your thing, posting and singing. I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's been um, really awesome lately because I've been preparing um, for my first album release. So nice. it's so exciting that that released like just a couple of days ago. Nice. Congratulations. Release season is always such... It's a beautiful season. It's like a beautiful, stressful, but amazing season because it's like the birth of like a... I compare it to having children. I have kids. So it's like the birth of a baby, right? It's like all this excitement. It's also stress. It's also nervousness. Like how are people going to receive it? Like all of those things that come with having a baby, you know, you're stressed, you're nervous, you're tired. It's a lot of work, but my God, is it worth it? Right. Yes. It's just, it's just an amazing feeling. Congratulations to you. You deserve all the feels. So tell the audience about you. Tell them, sing your own praises. Tell them where they can get your new album, stuff you've accomplished, what you're going to perform tonight. Well, I mean, um, as someone who's, you know, still in high school, I haven't really found my genre of music yet. And so all of the songs I write just really come from the heart. And so the album, which is called Elizabeth the Rebel, is just a collection of those um, that I hope make uh, connect with people in the way that I connect with them. And um, yeah, it's on- Come Tell us a little bit about the title. I love that, Elizabeth the Rebel. Oh, yeah. what, is, what does that mean? Well, um, I'm the type of person who names my guitars. So um, Elizabeth is, is the name of one of my guitars and Rebel is the name of the other. And so I thought I'd pay tribute to my two guitars um, that helped me make the album. Girl, that's so fire. That's <laughs> That's so fire. I just, I love the title of your album. So tell us, um, wh so where's the album? It's, it's out everywhere on all streaming platforms? Yeah, most streaming platforms, most of the big ones. Okay. I clicked all of the boxes. <laughs> nice, perfect. And it's under your name, Gabby Montiel? Uh, Gabby M, yeah. Gabby M. All right, you guys, it is time. Head out there, save it stream it send it to your friends let's really blow this album up for this young queen right here so tell us about the song you're going to be doing tonight so this song is actually not on the album and so it'll be like a nice little golden um secret between all of us here tonight. oh okay and i love it it's, it's a bonus track y'all i love that and that's dope um yeah it's just about you know um the feeling that you get when you feel like you have to almost fake your emotions in order for people to pay attention to you. And I feel like that's can be taken on many different levels and in many different ways for people, but it is called Spotlight. Nice, okay. Well, excited to hear it. And without further ado, Gabby M, take it away. The truth is that I like it down here Where all that's expected is fear All that I have to give is gone And I'm able, I'm able to run the truth is that it brings all the eyes When you give up they worry then When you say you're done they pretend And I'm once again Once again
Ills, girl. Yes, baby. You just <laughs> ate that up. You are so talented. I think one of the lines that stood out to me was, I think you said the truth is that the attention is distracting or something. Oh my God, I, I like, I literally like loved, loved this song, the performance, the passion that you displayed while performing it. Like just so good. You're like, great beyond your years. I'm so excited to see what happens next for you. Let us talk with our industry experts. Valerie, you may go first, my dear. Oh my goodness. Okay, first off, for being as young as you are, your voice is beautiful and your range and control are also incredible. Everything I've ever dreamt of having. And I <laughs> felt like the best way I could describe it is I felt like we were in a venue and everything was pitch black except for a spotlight on you. And it was just, everyone was quiet, which can be really hard to get in a venue to get everybody quiet. Yes, Everyone was quiet and just, it was captivating. It was captivating because there's so much depth to everything you were saying. And for a moment, I like almost felt like I was back in high school and I was like, yeah, this is so relatable. Like you're just playing around with all these emotions, trying to like, because you're also figuring yourself out and it was just it it really was captivating it was emotional it was there it was real it was honest it was you and i just loved it that was so beautiful excellent norvay tune in chime in gabby you have an amazing voice um <laughs> i you. mean truly transcendent i was i was actually blown away like uh, for for you to be so young and have such a strong understanding of song arrangement, uh, you know every record is a it's almost like a move a moving fluid breathing uh, object, right? So it's tension building up until you get the verse builds tension, and then the chorus is the release. And so for your chorus to have a crescendo and a peak and it drops off and then it goes into it at the end, um, it was a perfect cycle. Uh, I mean that's a hit like that those are the things that hits are made out of so uh be proud of yourself be unapologetic you know age has no bearing on understanding and just musical prowess and direction you're amazing yeah. thank you so much yeah yeah and i you know i want you to know that you're like because people are going to always mention age right and you're not just good because you're good no matter what if you were 50 <laughs> years old you'd be good if you were 10 years old you'd be good because you're just good so i don't want like the age to become like the thing like oh she's so good for her age like this girl is good period no matter what age so i just wanted to make sure that you know that deep down you're so talented thank you so much yeah that yeah. means a lot yeah you are very welcome thank you for blessing us with your phenomenal performance and um we will be seeing more of you of course <laughs> thank you so much for having me you're welcome have a you may now turn off your Right, you guys. Wow. Wow. It's getting. Artists is bringing the fire. We have two more phenomenal acts for you to round out this industry pick showcase. Coming to the virtual stage, we have Josandi. Hello. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good. I'm hearing some some great music, so I'm inspired myself. I That's to... what's up. I know you are going to be no less than great as well. I'm super excited. <laughs> thank you. Thank Congratulations you. for making it to this round. This is a tough. There's a lot of people that come through every season. So for it to just be the final five, you've already accomplished a lot. So congrats. I appreciate, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Really. I truly am. So thank you. That's what's up. So tell us about you. Who is Josandi? So Josandi uh, is actually a family name. And the reason I have that as my uh, rap name is so I always remember who I'm doing it for, who is, you know, uh, who it's an extension of. So I know what 
I can talk about in terms of who I actually am and not trying to be something that I'm not. So yeah. uh, that's what helps me stay true to myself, to always, you know, doing the most to find the best lyrics that I really want to come up with rather than just, you know, settling for something that's, ah, throw away, you know, because I want to really push myself to really represent not only my family but the world and try to make the world a better place through my own voice that I can bring so love it that's, that's who Jill Zandi is just a little love bit. it that's what it <laughs> takes to make the world a better place everybody doing their part I love 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 that 100%. so what are you going to perform tonight so uh tonight I am going to do resume it's a uh song I made uh for my first album Boy in the Iceberg which is a little inspired by Avatar the Last Airbender if y'all know that Ooh, show it's my favorite that. show I uh, love that show <laughs> but resume is kind of just me talking about uh it's kind of like a a story of like my career in doing music really cuz when I started you know I didn't have a lot of confidence and I was afraid like it was during high school so I was afraid to really show uh, I guess the rap side of me because people who know me like for example my mom will tell me that when I perform and who I am usually in person is like like a fire comes alive and you know resume is basically I know that I can be the person who I am on stage in person now I don't there's not a part of me I have to hide this is just who I am and my resume speaks for that so Bars, bars already. Come on. <laughs> so, All right, well, I'm excited to hear this song. I'm sure the audience is as well. So without further ado, Josandi. Thank you for having me. It's like college, you check my credits, guess I graduated I passed the test quite immaculate and I'm crashing stages My resume passed the heavens, gates it's gon' stack for ages Feel like an alien, chillin' with Wayne and Matt Damon Or more like Avatar, heal the world and its battle stars Say the magic word and I give you abracadabra bars I met a hater today, I've never laughed at hard To rock the beat, how I rock the beat, you don't have the heart Please stop the cap all your life, you live in a lowercase I'm racist when it comes to beats, they better know they place But I ain't entertaining a racist on no occasion Forget you to your faces, Martin Luther statements, I nail it to your front door cause I ain't got the patience, they booing me, we need son and black lives get taken, that's the reason I'm pissed they killing us off with an ease, I see some hatred when some people be talking to me, look I'm window shopping but they think that I'm stalking the store, we ask to look at boats, is that something y'all can afford, but then they cheer anytime that we walk on a court, unless we take a stand and they say we see you in court, hit the psyche never really ever went to rest, when you look at America, swearing that it's the best But I know the truth is this land my house and I ain't a guest American dream like checkers government playing chess I'm past the pictures of greater futures they stitching These politicians, it's hard to know what they vision 2020 hell, I'm blind if I see a difference They wanna keep status quo, but you waiting on new beginnings uh, On the ram, my bad, back to the application This rap I'm acing, there's nothing about me classic faking The goat awaken, sleep on me, I'm cool but waiting I'm Uber placement, my drive supreme to make a statement I've been shining since my birth, talking day one Haters hate my rays, but say we ain't throwing shade, son No theory, but soon you'll see my big bang come I play to win how I'm playing, and haters can play dumb Are we done with this interview? Am I in your view? Cause the way that I rap, they listening in a loop Cause the way that I rap, they listening in a loop Cause the way that I rap, they listening in a loop I'm talking to albums, I set the mood with no interlude They asked me how I spit fire, I told them spit the truth But listen, it's like every dream you gon' need that passion When they call it trashin', you overreacting. You thought you were snapping. can't get past that accent Arnold heard it too, but Schwarzenegger made it happen Took a long break, was tired from the burnout I let them have their shine, now my lights never turned down Turned down for what? I stayed lit like Lil John, bro Soon I'm making M's like Mickey Duck in the Donalds Y'all evoke the Joker, faces far from poker Fire this time, I ain't waiting for the snow first Y'all think y'all the kings, take a look closer Last time I checked, had your queen coming over Never disrespect the kid again or another beat Uncle Ben inspired, I make beliefs and then action But no pretend, I rap like I'm on attack because my dreams Ain't on defense Haters keep talking about me But they just making me trend So, yeah Just keep hopping in my mentions Yeah, I'm loving every sentence What's that? They've been quiet Ever since I made my entrance Cause they know that in my presence I'ma gift the world commending I'ma be a greater legend When it get down to the end ah. Appreciate you hey. <laughs> I'm like, eh. 
<laughs> you know when you get the loud A, you killing it. I appreciate the beat, it. That beat was fire too. Like, did you produce that? I did not. I have uh, um, sometimes I go to friends and sometimes you know people on YouTube blessing me with great sounds and I'll buy the beat and you know from Listen, there. Beat selection is a big is a talent too because some Thank people you. do not pick the right beats. But that was amazing and I love how you let the music drop off and then you just spit real bars for us. That was such showmanship. I was smiling the whole time. Great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, you are very welcome. Let's hear from our industry experts. Nora Bay, what do you think, brother? I love the creativity and the innovation. I can tell you, you know, definitely thought about how you were going to execute and the premise of what you wanted to do or whatnot. You sucked me into the performance. Uh, top flight. I would say just keep being creative, keep pushing the uh, thread and just being true to yourself or whatnot. But I love the innovation and I love the thought process of going on acapella. It takes a lot of, you know, guts to do that, especially on a performance like this. So kudos to you. I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. I agree wholeheartedly. All right, Valerie. Come on. I am. <laughs> yeah, you took us through a lot there, but I loved it. Like, it was very captivating the entire time. Like, I agree, going acapella is big, but it was like, a, oh, wait, hold on. Like, this isn't just like a little bit of acapella. Like, we really went acapella, and he really has something to say, and we're listening. Like, we're here to listen. And I think one of the things that stood out the, at the beginning, you said, uh, say the magic word and I give you abracadabra bars <laughs> uh, or something like that. And yeah. I was like, I love the confidence here. <laughs> like, like I said, you had something to say, you said it and you made sure that like, whether there was music or not, that you were being listened to. And I really, really liked that a lot. Like, 100% you were present and it was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Excellent work, Josandi. Thank you so much for that. You're so dope. I'm glad, you know, more people got to know about you tonight. And um, we will be seeing more of you soon. I'm I'm pretty sure of it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Y'all have, it, it's been great and I can't wait to hear more. Yes. I love, I love it. I love it. All right. You may now turn off your camera. All right, you guys. Josandi just blazed the stage. We have one more phenomenal talent coming to the stage and they are phenomenal. I will never forget this performance. So I'm excited for you guys to get hip. So without further ado, Sarai Jordan. And... Hello, it's Sari. Oh yeah, I knew that. We went through this. We've, we've been here before. <laughs> I've done it before. I'll do it again. It's no fair. Sari. Sari Jordan. Such a phenomenal talent. We're so excited to have you back. Tell the audience, who is Sari Jordan? So I am originally from, I'm excited to be back. Uh, I'm originally from New Jersey, but I live in New Orleans now. And so I've been singing live um around town for a couple years now and writing songs since i was super little but this year i started the recording process and i'm actually also in release mode um my this, this i'm gonna the song i'm gonna perform is my leading single off my ep so the single will be out september 15th mark your calendars nice and uh, the ep is out october 12th and it's called nice. sync Ooh, sounds like uh, you have a plan I love, I love a plan. I have dates. I might yeah, have some. That's huge. <laughs> if anyone's going to be in New Orleans this fall, definitely come by. Wow. Uh, but yeah, um, I play, I don't know. It's like eclectic art pop, alternative neo soul. Ooh, I love that. I love it. All right, these are the words I've come up with. But you um, perform before it works. It definitely I get it. Like it's giving yeah. us to give. Kind of have to do it first before you name it. That's what I've kind of discovered. It's like that. if I go in knowing what I'm trying to do, I almost always come out with something different anyway. Yeah. That's the art having its way. <laughs> well, I'm excited to hear you again and I'm sure the audience can't wait. So let me shut up. Sari Jordan, take it away. 
song's called Ceasefire, and it's about uh, the idea of loving conflict, where conflict can actually bring you closer to someone in a relationship if you just listen. But sometimes the walls we put up keep us from understanding the people we love and keep them from understanding us. So it says Ceasefire. It's a war with your head. And the reservoir. Stuff your ears with cotton instead. An olive branch in my right hand. And a white flag in my left. Thank you. Let's see. September 15th. You're so bad. So freaking good. Your voice is like butter, like melted butter on a nice toasted muffin. Like that's <laughs> chef's kiss, you know? <laughs> I was like chef's kissing at the thought of like melted butter on a muffin, but. <laughs> <laughs> no you really are so so good I love your artistry like I loved everything about you just you just took us there you know you just really it was a moment you created which is what makes art so beautiful that you can like create these moments for people so thank you thank you so much for doing what you do the way that you do it thank you for listening yeah of course if it wasn't my job I'd still listen because you <laughs> <laughs> Let's get our industry experts in here. Your cameras. All right, Valerie, you go first this time. 
like, I feel like you took every emotion I had and you put it in a little glass box and you handed it back to me in the most like simple manner. Like I, I that was beautiful. Your voice is beautiful. The, the emotion in the song is, I think it's relatable with just like, not just even a partner, but with anybody that we love. And like, that was, I just, that was just gorgeous. Like, <laughs> I mean, I would pay to see that. I would. Nice. Um, yeah, I'll come to NOLA. It's fine. Um, I'll drive over. I like, you left me speechless. Like that was gorgeous. So gorgeous. Thank you for giving me my emotions back in the glass box. <laughs> oh, I, thank you. That's why I do it. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, Norbay. I <clears throat> must say I was so pleasantly surprised. I didn't expect um, such a huge voice um, uh, when you first started performing. So I, I think the performance in one word for me was just charming. It seemed like the the perfect compliment um, for you just in, in a position and then and, and come out with such a, a huge vocal uh, line. And I love, uh, is that a ukulele you're playing? I yes. love the uh, okay, perfect, perfect. I, I I love the sentimentality of playing the ukulele and so many other instruments that you see. So that was a throwback to another era. I think the entire performance was serendipitous. Uh, great work, terrific. I, you pull the big words out, and I love that you did a solo. You did a freaking ukulele solo. Like, come on, like I, I wasn't expecting that, and it and it was just perfect, excellent, great, great, great work. All right. I hate to say goodbye to you, Sari, but you have to leave us right now because we have to end the show so perfectly. You rounded it out so wonderfully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Oh, our industry experts have left us. We need you guys back. Come on back. Yes. <laughs> all right. So that was such a phenomenal performance. We always end our shows with a final takeaway from our experts. If you could give one word of advice, not just like a single word, but a tip, something that you live by, a takeaway, a tidbit to our artists and to artists in general, what would it be and whoever wants to go first? Sure, I'll jump in. I would say, you know, we just heard five unique propositions of artistry today and each one bespoke uh, within itself. And so I think the proof is in the pudding is so many ways to be the artist, right? There's no cookie cutter lane. Um, someone mentioned earlier, um, I, I believe it was Gabby who said she was struggling with, you know, kind of identifying the genre. And in today's day and age, more so than ever, I want everyone to know genre does not exist, right? Mm -hmm the biggest rapper of the past decade has also been simultaneously the biggest R&B singer of the past decade. So I, I right. think more, more so than ever be unapologetically yourselves. Don't worry as much as the, uh, for the old confines and structures and archetypes of the industry and just move forward with great music. You know, a rs aren't one dimensional anymore. Um, and nor is the business model. So the fact that you can upload your music and I think two or three of you got albums and projects dropping, or uh, whatnot, you're, always, you're already your own record labels, you know, so uh, move forward with that same courage, that same tenacity, and that sense of integrity uh, to your own artistry, and, you know, don't subscribe to any labels or boxes that anyone would try to put you in. Love that. Love it. Norve, you know you was a preacher in your past life, right? Because the, <laughs> the way you so eloquently speak and use your word choices are very dynamic. I love it. And I love everything you said, like for real, all jokes aside, that's real rap, super honest, very truthful. And I hope you guys are listening and paying attention because he said you are your own record label. And that is so true. Like you can literally do it yourself. There are no more boundaries. Age is in a limit. Skin color isn't a limit. Genre isn't a limit. Like social media has made the playing field level and you can pop off at any time doing anything that you really want to do. So take advantage of the space and time that we're living in right now. I love that. Thank you so much, Norve. We appreciate you. Valerie? I mean, pretty much 
just don't ever forget that there is space for you, right? Like you're there, you're competing, but you're not, you know, because there is no one like you in this industry. There's no one with your voice, your sound, your look, your style, like mm-hmm. at all. And there never will be again, you know, and it's, you're not going to fail if you have to do trial and error with so many different things and styles and stuff, because you're still finding yourself within this, you know, that is the beauty of art is the different forms that you can take up art, you know? And so don't ever stop because it's what you love. It's what you're passionate about. It's your drive. It's what you feel called to. And there is space for you. There 110% is. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise, because someone out there is going to resonate with you. And we know this just from like, all of us coming together with music alone and being, you know, everyone in so many different genres. So don't forget that, you know, you, you have a place and you have an art and you have a voice and it is rightly yours. Yeah. Love that. There's room for everybody. I say it all the time. So thank you so much for that. All right. You guys heard it first from our industry experts. We had an incredible night this evening. Thank you for anyone who's still tuned in. It's after nine, two minutes after nine, and we have just wrapped our show. It has been phenomenal. All right. Listen, make sure that you um, pay attention because next week we will find out who our our industry pick is for season 10. And if you want to perform on Open Mic Fridays in season 11, follow the link in the chat. You never know where this show might take you. All right. Listen, our artists are going to win. Send a, a pair of uh, a microphone, a pair of headphones, both courtesy of Sennheiser, as well as one hundred and fifty dollars at Ross. So find out on Monday who our industry pick is. And I love Sennheiser mics. You see, I love the Ross threads. So our winning artist is in for a huge huge treat. I have to give a big thank you to our Open Mic Friday sponsors, our partners, Ross, Sennheiser, and Guitar Center for their dedication to helping shape and support the next generation of artists. We appreciate it. In the meantime, as we continue to celebrate our 30th anniversary here at Music Forward, make sure that you check out our website and Instagram to stay up to date on all of the new programs and free events that are going to be coming your way this fall, including some new industry sessions, masterclasses, and of course, the season 11 open mic Friday starting in less than one month, hosted by yours truly. Once again, my name is Lydia Caesar. It is my absolute pleasure to host this open mic event for you for Music Forward. Thank you for joining us. Peace. Peace.